Hi and welcome back to the Hot Pot Paint Guide on choosing colours for painting your home. In this video we're going to actually look at the colour rules and the colour wheel to give you some idea about when you're choosing colours for your home, how you should be pairing up colours or how the guides say that you should be pairing up colours. Of course at the end of the day it comes down to personal choice and personal inspiration but this will give you a good place to start. If we look at the Dulux website here it talks about using the colour wheel and the fact that you're getting different types of way to choose and create color schemes. You have a single color scheme, which is also called monochromatic, where you're choosing tones and shades and tints within one particular color palette. Then you've got contrasting colors, where you've got colors that literally contrast with each other or are also called complementary on the color wheel. Then you have analogous or harmonious colors, and these incorporate colors that naturally flow from one to the other. And then you have the dynamic, also known as triadic color scheme, which brings together uh, a triangle of colors. And I'll show you that actually each one of these steps on the color wheel. So if we go over to the Adobe color wheel, and I've got links to these sites for you well, underneath the video, so you can actually see these different sites and use them for yourself. I've also got a list of other sites that you might want to go visit and have a read more about as well, perhaps to help you in giving you some inspiration. But the Adobe Color Wheel, here we've got the uh, analogous or harmonious colors here. And this gives us a starting point where if we take the wheel, we can turn the colors. And if we go on the outside, we have the sort of extreme of the actual first stage of the color. And as we lift, click on our mouse and push in, we start to get tones and lighter tones as you can see here and we pull it out and we turn it around so if we pick a color palette if we go into these sort of color here and let's move in what we can do here is there's a little triangle that's our base color that sets our base color so if we choose base and then we choose complementary for example it's going to show us opposites on the spectrum that complement this color so if you're using them together these are the shades that will work and complement the colors when you're painting in a room together. If you want to look at the triad or the triadic, giving you the three different types of colors for a room, again, the wheel will show you this. And at any point, you can basically take this and start turning around to give you different color tones. Go back to complementary again, you see it's showing the opposites. Here's the harmonious colors. Harmonious tends to be like a color either side of. So here we have a color, and then it's the two colors either side of that particular color. These are the harmonious colors when we're designing a room, just to take you back to that Dulux page. Come down to Homeless. Here you'll see the different shades that complement each other on the actual color wheel. And here we have them again together. Let's pull out the wheel. Here we go. So here's our base color. If we, for example, we start picking out a color we like, base color, we set it as our base color and then we choose monochromatic, it will give us those tones that we could use that we'd be likely to see together that we can then start matching colors with a different shade and tint. And if we want to go to complementary, we'll see the ones that are the polar opposites of each other, but complement each other. So by using the color wheel here, we can really start to get an idea of different colors, shades, tints, hues, whether we're going to use them same within the same group. We can pull it in and out here. And we can also choose with the Adobe wheel, we can pick on shades as well. So if we go, for example, let's go around here and we'll pull in and we'll see it'll get lighter and fade. You can now see different shades of those color as well. Here we have the compound again, complementary colors and monochromatic colors within a particular shading. So this will give you a good idea of the different steps. And then you can take this color. If I scroll down here, you've got the hexadecimal and the RG blue, the, the red, green and blue and the hexadecimal. You can take these colors and then come along and give us an idea of the type of color you're looking for. And we can then build it up for you from there. But it will give you a good starting point on choosing whether you're going to go with something that complements and it's like an opposite to really make something pop and stand out. Monochromatic colors tend to be, some people would say they're dull because there's no set focal point in the room. There's nothing to really drag you in because they're shades of a color. But again, if you use the spectrum in the right way, you could actually have amazing effects, if you like, with a particular color. If we set this as our base color here, we're choosing monochromatic, you could have 
colours within this group that you know quite would pop and contrast with each other they don't necessarily have to be very very neutral and light pastel colours light shades it's really up to you so the adobe wheel is a great tool to use then another one we've got here if we go to the dulux page you can actually browse their colors now this is the actual uh, site in the us so you're going to get names of paints there but again you can still get an idea if you're looking for dulux if you pick a color it zooms it in and then you can take a note of the color the color number and then that would help us at hot pot if you want us to create and mix that color for you and by all means take a screenshot on your phone and even bring that in and show us but this will help you getting started in picking colors that you perhaps want to use within your designs likewise on the plascon website there's their inspired color system so if you here you can actually choose between complementary monochromatic the adjacent colors etc on their color chart so again let's go pick a color and once it loads up so here we can see the color we picked was called fortissimo and here we have the monochromatic so here's the actual monochromatic scheme of the colors on that particular grading then we could look at complementary as you can see like the opposites as we saw on that color wheel and then we can have adjacent and these are the colors that are either side on that wheel as well it gives you an idea and once again choose all color schemes to go back and see all three the adjacent the complementary and monochromatic and if we want to we can change color and this will reload it and we can go and start again so we could pick something a bit different this time and load a new color you get the idea you can then see and match the colors that you would like here we go if we show all color schemes there's the monochromatic here's the complementary and here's the adjacent with this particular color we chose here so that's it and as i said i'll give you a link to these sites to help you underneath this video if you've got any questions feel free to ask better still you can either pick up the phone and call us contact us through our contact us page speak to us on facebook through facebook on the website as well or come in store and see us where we can help you face to face thanks very much for watching